Atere TV. Hi, hello, uh, good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Prince Mado Mado. I'm a youth activist on the plateau. Uh, I'm from Plateau State. Um, I want to talk about the, um, the latest insecurity happening in my state. Um, different narratives, um, uh, different narratives, different stories have been told out there which are not true. Uh, so I decided to come online and tell the whole world the truth about what is happening on the plateau right now. And I, I'm calling on people, please, as you watch this video, help me and share this video, share this link so the whole world will know the truth what is happening on the plateau. You see, different narratives have been given. You know, I read um, the Daily Trust paper. Uh, it's quite unfortunate, you know, I mean, in every every situation that's happened, there's always repercussions. It's quite unfortunate um, the people who were killed, you know, I mean, around Rukuba Road. I All I can say is may God grant their families the heart to bear the loss. But you see, you have to understand what's happening on the plateau. It's go back down down history you understand it has it's an ongoing situation and to tell the whole world the truth what's happening on the plateau is this you see what happened a few days ago around Rokuba Road just a few kilometers away from Rokuba Road in a place called Jibubasa that community was attacked now more than a hundred people lost their lives in Jibubasa now, not only that, another community was also attacked around Miango again a few days after Jibubasa, which is not far from Rukuba Road, where these people were attacked. Now, the reality here is this. That area is so volatile. That area is so volatile that every little thing that happened, it escalates. Now, the reality that is, they said these people came from Baucha and they were going to own those states. Now, let us tell ourselves the truth. If you know the geographical look, the geographical map of Jos, the road from Bauchi to out of Jos has nothing to do with what Rukuba Road. Now, first of all, this, this is an area where the IDPs from Jobasa have been living. So, within that, you should know the tension within that area is so bad. So, the question is, how did that vehicle from Bauchi which is en route to on those state, finds its way to a location where there was killings few days some few few days to that attack. That's the reality. Now, let us tell ourselves the truth. What is happening on the plateau is a systematic killing and annihilation of plateau people. Now I was on radio on Wednesday and we were discussing about security problems and I said the government has always said we will bring the perpetrators to book. The government have always used the statement we will fish out those people who are who are, who are who are responsible for this evil. But the issue of the plateau killings is the people who are doing the killings are not invisible people. They are physical. More than 68 communities on the plateau on the plateau have been taken over by Fulani headsmen. Let me say this by Fulani headsmen to be specific. More than 68 communities. I can give you some names. When you go to Bokos, they have taken over lands. When you go to uh, uh, Miango, Fulani have taken over lands. When you go to Rio, they have taken over lands. When you go to Bariki Ladi, they have taken over lands. And the truth is, go back to the history of plateau. Fulani people have no heritage on the plateau. How, did, how does a Fulani man say he owns land on the plateau? This is the truth. Now, what is happening? What is happening on the plateau is a systematic killing of plateau people. And the government said we will get the perpetrators book. The perpetrators are right now sitting on what? People's ancestral lands. You come, you kill people, they will run away, and you sit on their lands, and governments tell you they will go all over the perpetrators. The people who are killing plateau people are the Fulani people, and they are present in the plateau land. Location, when you go to Rob today, all the... All the indigenous people have been sacked out of out of rob. Fulani people are living on their own, on some even some of their houses. You go to Gashish, you go to Gindi Aquatin, you go to um um uh, where again? A lot of locations. These are just a few locations I'm giving you. When you go to Miango, you still see people 
Fulani people live in what? Um, um, Myango people, ancestral lands. Who gave them those lands? Now, if government want to really fish out those people who are responsible for the killings of the plateau, first of all, go and reclaim people's lands from Fulani people. That Fulani people what, are living on people's houses, on people's lands. People that have been killed and government have done nothing about it. It's a system. This is the government of what's going on the plateau. I'm so sorry. I'm not here to defend what happened to, to, to the kid. I just said, I'm against killing anybody. But what 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 always happened on the plateau? There's always repercussion. There's always a repercussion. Every time this happens on the plateau, it escalates. Now this is a very volatile state. Go back to the history of plateau, back 2001. Every time something happens, it escalates. But what is happening on the plateau? Listen, killing plateau people has become the normal. Not nobody deceive you. Nobody change. They want to change the narrative and change the story, sir. More than I say, repeat, more than two million plateau people have been killed since 2001. Nobody is doing anything about it. More than from from January, it says what from 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 June, from July to August, July to August, more than two hundred people, two hundred plateau people have been killed on their ancestral lands, and nobody is doing anything about it. Listen, and these people who are killing plateau people, they are living on their lands. You come, you kill people, they run away, and you reside on their lands. And government is saying we are looking for the perpetrators. You can see the perpetrators. No, you need to arrest every flying man that's, uh, that's living on a land that does not belong to him. How did you get this land? How did you acquire this land? Who brought you this land? How do you even occupy these spaces? That's the reality. These people who own this land are actually alive. They are on the plateau, living in IT pickups, but their homes have been taken by flying people, and nobody's doing anything about it. Nobody's doing anything about it. For how long will this continue on the plateau? Nobody is doing anything about it. The government will come out and make political statements that headers are for much clash. There is nothing like headers are for much clash on the plateau. I still repeat, take me anywhere in the world, I will stand and speak the truth. There is nothing like headers are for much clash on the plateau. It's what the systematic annihilation of plateau people and taking over of their lands. Fulani people are killing people on the plateau. They're destroying their crops daily. The people will run away. Fulani people will come and occupy their lands. And I'm not, I'm not lying. I can give you locations where you go right now, you meet friendly people living in people's houses. People who have run away for looking to look for what? Shelter. You go to your houses, you see friendly people living in their houses and grazing on their lands. And the government is looking for the perpetrators. Who do you think are the perpetrators? When the, the killers are living in people's houses, a criminal comes to your house, kill your mother, kill your father, and the children run away, and he's, leave, he's leaving your house. And the government is telling you, we are looking for the perpetrators. Who are the perpetrators? Listen, unless, unless, unless our lands have been taken, unless government will reclaim back stolen lands for what, for flying headsmen, I will turn it back what, to the ancestral owners of this uh, property, you will not know peace. This peace can never thrive in an environment where there's no justice. You have to give justice for those people who, who have been deprived of justice. It's quite sad. It's quite sad. I'm very now. Look at what's happening on the plateau. Coffee everywhere. Plateau is a very volatile state. Every every little thing sparks what to a bigger issue. But let the government stand and speak the truth. Let the government stand and speak the truth for once. What's happening on the plateau? What's happening on the plateau? If government does not take a solution to stop what's happening on the plateau to plateau people, people will start taking what the law into their into their hands. Which is unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair. People will start taking the laws into their hands. If the government will not do anything about it, you have to, the government have to tell the whole world the truth. What's happening on the plateau? Fulani people are taking over people's ancestral lands, killing people, taking over territory, more than state communities. Fulani people are now living and residing on people's lands comfortably, living there day and night. And the people cannot even go to their lands and farm. Who's talking about these things? Who is saying it? Nobody's talking about it. The government will come and say, head of a farmer's clash. Have you ever seen people farming the night? Have you ever seen people farming the night? Have you ever seen people farming in their bedrooms? When you go to people's bedrooms, you slaughter them, you kill them in their bedrooms, and then the government the next day is going to head as a farmer's clash. Where? Have you ever seen any clash without repercussion? Look at all the glory pictures. You only see the picture of these villagers and these farmers being killed daily. Have you ever seen a, 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 any body of, uh, of any of, of the assailants, any, any of, of, of the headsmen? For how long are we going to keep what? You keep on politicizing lives in, in this country. 
How, come on, how for how long are we going to use plateau people's lives to keep on playing politics with it? Let us come out and tell people the truth. Unless government stop what's happening on the plateau, people will keep on taking laws into their hands. This is plateau state for Christ's sake. History has shown us every small thing can spark up into, into, into a, a, a big fight. People are killed on the plateau on the plateau daily. Killing has become the normal of this state. They will kill they will kill. 20 in Rome, they will give 500 in Berkeley, they will give 300 in, 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 in Miango, they will go to Bokos, they will go and start at 1,000 Bokos, and nobody's doing anything about it. The government will call the headers of farmers clashed. Now the people are taking the laws into their hands, and then look at what's happening in the state, everybody's crying. Let us tell ourselves the truth. The people who are killing people on the plateau are living on plateau people's lands. You go to Miango, they are friendly people living on people's lands. How do they get those lands? Who, who sold the lands to them? They kill people, people run away, and they're living on those lands, and governments do nothing about it. The governments do nothing about it. Governments do nothing about it. You go to Rio, you see friendly people living on people's ancestral lands. Nobody sold those lands to them. How did they get those lands? The government is not talking about it. You go to Brekilari, the same thing. The same thing. Killing on the plateau has become, has become normal, and nobody's doing anything about it. For how long? The government needs to rise up and tell the truth. Listen, what is happening on the plateau is there's no, there's no fighting. Nobody's fighting anybody. People are just reacting to the world, to the, to the senseless killings against our own plateau people. People are reacting to the senseless killings, bedeviling on us every blessed day. We have statistics. Do you know how many people have been killed on the plateau since 2001? I'm talking about more than 2 million people. More than 2 million souls have been lost in this state. Who is going to account for those blood? And you go to those people's, those people's houses and lands. Fulani people are living there right now. I'm talking the idea. We can give the locations. Go, government should go and vacate every Fulani man living on people's houses. Leave those places first. Return to owners of those lands. Listen, give justice to those who justice have been deprived. That's why you have peace in this state. You can never have peace when there's no justice. The government should stop paying pay part of people's life. Governor, my governor should stop paying part of people's life. There's nothing called headers and farmers clash of the plateau. Nothing. I see it is a lie. There's nothing called headers and farmers clash on the plateau. It is a lie. No farmer is fighting any header here. Headers, headers are killing people on their lands. They go to people, people, um, people's farms. They destroy their crops. They meet them in their houses. They slaughter them. In their millions. And that's why people are reacting to the world, to the senseless injustice on plateau people. We have to tell ourselves the truth in this state. We have to tell ourselves the truth. We have to. For how long will this continue? For how long? How long will this continue? How long? How about? How long? How long will this continue in this state? For how long? For how long will this continue? We need, we need to tell the whole world the truth. What is happening on the plateau? I still repeat, there's no headers of much clash one. It is a systematic taking over of our lands. Fulani people, we can give you locations where Fulani people have attacked people, people ran away, and Fulani people are living there right now. And the government and the security people are doing nothing about it. They did nothing about it. You have plateau people living in IDP camps in their own father's lands, in the same state. And nobody's doing anything about it. Now, because of any power, now, look at what that's caused now. People are not killing people what? what the, the people that were killed in Lukwa Road, I even let them over on the plateau. This is the repercussion of what happens. This is the repercussion. When you don't give justice, when you don't stand for the truth, you, these things are, will escalate. Let's tell ourselves the truth. There's no, I say repeat, nothing like headers of a match clash in this state. There's nothing called headers of a match clash in this state. I still repeat, nothing called headers and farmers clash on the plateau. Fulani people are taking over plateau people's lands. You go to Miango, they are there. How did they get those lands? Who gave them land? Miango, are they part of Miango people? Does, does Miango, is there any genealogy that correct Miango people and Fulani people? You go to Berkeley, Rio, Bocos. Fulani people are occupying plateau people's lands. How? How did they get it? Who gave them? Who gave them? Tell me who gave them. Government, go and ask them. Go and tell them to leave people's lands first. Give justice to plateau people first. If you want peace in this state, give justice. You can't have peace when there's no justice. Return people to their ancestral lands. Let every friendly man living on... 
Le Freddy Fladiman occupying any land that does not belong to the black. Let him vacate. Vacate people's land first. Vacate people's land first. Let's tell ourselves the truth. How about? It's becoming too much now. Killing has become the normal on the plateau. Abba. It has become the normal on the plateau. Let's tell ourselves the truth. I say repeat. Not to call headers and farmers clash in this state. There's not to call headers and farmers clash. Take me anywhere. No farmer is fighting for in this state. Rough people are going to people's houses, killing people in the night in their houses. Nobody farms in the night in his, in his bedroom. Look at the pictures. In every clash, there must be a repercussion. Have you ever seen a dead any body of, of, of a dead flannel man during the clash? In, in war, there must be a there must be a casualty. Have you ever seen any casualty for the flannel people? And government saying every day the of is a lie. Can you hear any? It is a lie. We have to give justice. We have to give justice. Let every Flanima occupying land that does not belong to him on the plateau. Let them vacate. Let the owners of the land return back to their houses. Give justice, friends. That's why we'll start having peace in this state. Justice, justice, justice equals to peace. As long as Flanima people are still living on people's lands. And the government is saying, we are looking for the perpetrators. And when the perpetrators are there on people's houses, how about? You come, you kill people, they run away. Then you have the God and the audacity to start living on their property. On their property. You are grazing on their property, living in their houses, and government is saying, we are looking for the people to say, where? When they are there, you are seeing them in, in, physically. Let's now say the truth. I'm against any killing of anybody in this state. But honestly, if government wants absolute peace in this state, we have to go back to the fundamentals, the root causes of this issue. Give justice to those who just have been deprived. That is the first, that is the first, the first, the first principle of, of attaining peace. Give justice. If not, this, this will keep escalating. It will keep escalating. It is plateau, it's very volatile. Every little thing happens in one place, people will react in another place. History has shown us. How about? Let's now say the truth in this state. The same thing happened in Southern Kaduna. The same thing happened in Benue. The same thing happened in most of the middle, middle belt state. What is happening? It's a systematic taking over of our ancestral lands. Yes, I said it. I said it. Let's now say the truth. Let's now say the truth. This must stop. This must stop. This must stop. How about?